So I met my wife in the Hilltop Mall in Kearney when I was in college. I used to work at a snack place, and uh, the little snack place was called Munchville. And my wife worked uh, a couple doors down from there at a snack place. Uh, she wasn't even a girlfriend at the time. She was just a, a pretty girl that she would come down and buy red licorice and get refills of uh, pop. And uh, I was always eager to see her. She was just she was color in a black and white world. She still is. That was fall, uh, fall in 1988, uh, and by April we were engaged. By the following September, uh, we were married. So we got married uh, in September of 1989, and in uh, the spring of 1991, uh, we moved to Kansas. I bought a business, a, a DJ franchise DJ business, and we worked in the wedding industry. We had two of our children born in Hayes, Kansas, and two were born in Manhattan, Kansas later. Uh, and the spread of them were uh, 13, 11, 7, and then Ellie was born. And Ellie wasn't what we expected. Uh, Ellie has Down syndrome, and she had an open heart at four months old. Uh, and during open heart, uh, as a man, I wanted control. Uh, I, I liked answers, and you don't have answers when the doctors are working on your child. Shortly after that, our oldest was diagnosed at 13 years old with Crohn's disease. Uh, so severe that his six medicines that he was on, 19 pills a day, they didn't work. Every eight weeks he went in for a chemo drug and my wife sat with him. And it was a very expensive drug every eight weeks. He's still on that. And shortly after that, our, our youngest at 10 was diagnosed with the same chronic disease, Crohn's. Um, and over the course of our time with him, he had developed pancreatitis twice because of a drug side effect. You don't know how to pray. You don't know how to cope, you don't know how to help, you're just helpless. Uh, and, and I think that's something I struggled with uh, at that time, especially since I had control of so many things in my life before. We had a, a thriving business, we had moved the business three times in Kansas, we moved our house twice. Uh, we moved from Hayes to Manhattan, Kansas, and Manhattan out to St. George, Kansas. Lived in a rural community, I was involved with Chamber of Commerce, I led scouts, um, I was a Cub Scout leader, a Boy Scout leader. Um, volunteered to teach Sunday school, was on church council. Oh, and I served as president of the school board. I stayed busy with a lot of things, and I said yes to a lot of things. And in hindsight, I was saying no to my family. I was saying no to my wife. It was a crutch. It was no different than another kind of drug in many ways. I had an opportunity to move to Omaha from Kansas, where I had my business, and I could work for the franchisor, so I could double dip. Get up there. Uh, it's not what I expect. Uh, we uprooted our life, our lifestyle, our friends, and two and a half years later I was um, training the CEO's younger brother to replace me. So here I was in Omaha with no job, uh, and I was 45, and I was at a job fair with college kids looking for work. Sold our house, moved into a town home uh, to just make ends meet. God is the author of life. Uh, we don't put a, a comma where he puts a period and vice versa. We let him write and we just trust him. For me it was recognizing that the person I worship most was the man in the mirror that can cause challenges in your marriage. Uh, it, it really leads to dis disrespect. We had a son that finished high school in Kansas his junior senior year. So essentially he moved out at 16. It was another stress on the marriage. Um, we had uh, children with medical issues. Um, we moved up here, I lost a job, I lost my dad, I lost my home. And I finally was at rock bottom. This isn't fair, this isn't I, what I expected, this isn't what I deserve, I've worked hard, I've volunteered, I've done all these good things, but God wanted me to be at the end of me so he could build me the way he wanted me. And there were many times where I was um, on my knees and in tears and um, fearful for uh, will I have my family, will I have my marriage. I just remember dad's words of letting him be the author of life and I remember that forgiveness is important and, and I was showing a forgiving heart and I started trying to live that way a little bit more and I'm still a work in progress with pride and with ego and with stuff but with those steps my wife and I really worked really really hard on loving through things we found a way to work through that for almost 11 months before I landed at a, at a job that's just fantastic. It's just perfect. God knew what he was doing. And through that process, he needed me to be humbled. So one of the things I learned uh, through, uh, well, my 28 years now of marriage has been that 
In the end, for me, it's I can't change anyone else. And only through God's power can I change me. And once I allow God to change me, then I can impact my relationship with others through love and through forgiveness and through God's mercy and through His grace. We can't change our circumstances. What we can do, though, is lean on Christ through them. My name is Mark Kicker, and this is where my story meets his.